Hello friends, this video on factorization part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 2. Factorize the following expressions. So the first expression is 5x square y minus 15xy square. So let us write each term in the form of its factors. So 5x square y can be written as 5 into x into x into y. 15xy square can be written as 5 into 3 into x into y into y. So therefore 5xy x square y minus 15xy square. This can be written as 5 into x into x into y minus 5 into 3 into x into y into y. So in this, what are the common factors? 5 x y. So these are the common factors. So let's take them out. So this can be written as 5 into x into y. So what is left inside? So in the first term you are left with x. In the second term you are left with 3y. So 5xy into x minus 3y. This would be the factor form. Let's look at the second expression. It is x square yz plus xy square z plus xyz square. So again similarly uh, here also let's write each of them in factor form. So x square yz can be written as x into x into y into z. xy square z can be written as x into y into y into z. xyz square can be written as x into y into z into z. So therefore this expression can be written as x into x into y into z plus x into y into y into z plus x into y into z into z. Now what are the common, common factors that we have? So x is a common factor, y is also a common factor, z is also a common factor. So let's take the common factors out that is x, y, z. So in the first term we are left with x. In the second term we are left with y and in the third term we are left with z. So this becomes x plus y plus z. So this is the factor form of the given expression. Question number 3. Factorize the expressions. Again we have two expressions given here. So let's try to solve them. First one. So here uh, we have more number of terms, right? Like you have z minus 7 plus 7xy minus xyz. So you have four terms. So let's use the concept of regrouping. Regrouping the terms depending upon the common factors that they share. So if you look at this, this the first term and the last term, they have z in common. So we can put them together. So z minus xyz minus 7 plus 7xy. That's because again 7 and 7xy they have 7 in common. So let's put these two together. So for the first two terms if you write them in the form of their factors what is the common factor? Z is the common factor. So what is left in the first term 1 and in the second term xy. Similarly in case of these two terms 7 is the common factor so you are left with 1 and minus xy. So now let's compare this term and this term. So what, is, what do you have in common? 1 minus xy is the common. So what are you left with? You are left with z minus 7. So this is the answer. Next expression is L plus M whole square minus 4LM. So how can we, now first of all let's expand L plus M whole square. So this is in the form of A plus B whole square. So this, this would be A square plus 2AB plus B square. This minus 4LM. Now here if you see this term and this term, they have uh, different coefficients but they have the same algebraic part. So therefore we can directly add them. So we can write it as L square plus M square minus 2LM. Now what is this? This is in the form a square plus b square minus 2ab which can be written as a minus b whole square and this is the factor form. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.